Hey boys, welcome back to some more Cricket 19 career mode and we're continuing on with the 50 over JLT Cup, which is, uh, it's exciting dude. And it's good, um, this is actually licensed in the game. I think, I was trying to remember, I'm pretty sure Ashes Cricket, this wasn't licensed, I think, from memory. One thing I did want to, want to touch on though, and I don't, I don't know if any of you guys are like up to T20 level in the domestic, but I don't know what they've done with that. So obviously the Big Bash isn't licensed in this game, but the one thing I, I like, I went through the community, I was going to download all the Big Bash teams. For some reason, there's, there, there's not even like the unlicensed thing. Like in uh, Ashes Cricket, it was called like, I don't know, like T20 Cup or, or whatever it was. Like, it was called something else, but it was the equivalent of the Big Bash. And all you had to do was download the Big Bash teams and then link them to sort of the the default unlicensed ones and you would get to play through um, the Big Bash. It just wasn't called the Big Bash, but you would have all the all the proper teams and stuff. As uh, we stride out here with the... It was a great game last game. Our, our debut was an absolute outstanding performance. Um, very, very handy all-round performance. But, uh, but yeah, in this game, in this game, it doesn't have. I, I don't know what I don't know what they've done. <laughs> I haven't got up to. I don't know what's going to happen because I I downloaded like all the big bash teams. Like someone had made like all of them. I don't know if they were exactly a hundred percent, but they all look pretty good. They had the right uniforms and stuff. So I downloaded them, and then when you go to link them to a team, there's literally nowhere to link them. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Usually everyone's asking me the questions, and I'm answering uh, how to do stuff, but I'm absolutely gobsmacked at what they've done. Is uh, We're going to look at the replay for this one. It was the big, <laughs> it was the big wrong and by uh, Kadir here. Um, look at this one. <laughs> the rotation of the ball is hilarious when it's like a, like a wrong and it's like turning exactly parallel, if that makes sense. It's, it's very strange, but, um, I don't know. Have you guys in your career modes, have you made it like, you know, I've made like the Sheffield Shield and I've now made the, the one day stuff. Do you actually make like a T20 like do you make t20 in the australian domestic and what what are the teams in that because it's so weird like some people are watching this and be like what do you mean by it because i know a lot of people don't really understand the like linking teams and downloading them from the community as it is but i i honestly i don't know what i don't know what has happened like you go through like the the competitions and it's got you know it's got the it's not the ipl but it's got the indian t oh no chris lynn there was frustrating he's raising the bat good innings by lenny but um i mean that was frustrating because there was a couple two surely he was pretty slow out of the gates and then a direct hit uh sent him packing so a bit of a, <laughs> a bit unfortunate there you know the non-strikers, they're so slow. <laughs> it should be the non-strikers should be in and out, but for some reason in this game, the non-strikers take so long to get out of the crease. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I, I have no idea. I don't know what... I don't know what... I don't even understand the point of making the Big Bash teams now because I've downloaded them, but you can't actually link them to anything. So, I don't know. It's been a while since I've I've done that. Like, I haven't... It's been a while since I've gone onto the community, so maybe they've, maybe a patch has come out for for something like that, and, and you can link them now. I, I don't know. I'll have to like re, I'll have to look at it again. But oh yeah, the thing I was, I was gonna talk about, like the all the competitions, like you've got the equivalent of the IPL, like it's yeah, it's called the Indian T20 or it's something like something like that. It, it's the equivalent of the IPL, so you can download the IPL teams, link them to that. And I think that's what happened. Yeah, the, when I, when you download a team, right, and then you go to like your custom teams and you go to link them, I think the only place I could link them was in the IPL section, which is extremely weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, have you guys found that same thing? I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go on and look at it again. It's very strange. This one, this is whipped. 
beautifully off the. That's probably like one of the best shots we've ever played, dude. That was, that was exquisite. They've got a man very straight along on, and uh, a fairly straight mid wicket as well. We pierced the gap and hit it with enough force to go for four. That was, that was just beautiful batting. We're in good touch, even though last game, yeah, that, that's all I'll talk about for the the big bash and the T20 stuff. I don't, honestly, I don't know what it seems like they've. They could. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why they don't have a unlicensed thing like they did in previous games for it. It's blowing me away. But um, getting back to the actual game here, 21 off 20, Jimmy Pearson is the other man at the crease. And where, I mean, we've been in such good form with the bat. Last game, our debut in the 50 over stuff, we were struggling. I think we got like our 60 off like 80 odd balls. It was, <laughs> it was a very slow knock, but. If you watch the episode, if you haven't watched it, you really should, because it was uh, it was a fantastic innings. Yep. We, I think it was like eight or nine wickets out. We were hogging the strike. We were trying to punish the bad balls, even though it was, it was tough bowling. We pushed the score up to defendable, a defendable total, and then we came out, got a few wickets, and uh, and got the win. It was it was just a great performance, and it was very justified during. During the batting section, like when I was playing it, it felt it was frustrating to bat because it, it was just so hard to score freely. But the end result, it uh, it really sort of established what a what a good innings it was. So it was it was quality stuff. And uh, but other than that, like we've been scoring pretty freely. The runs have been coming thick and fast, and uh, hopefully it continues. The Sheffield Shield stuff, we we finished with a bang. We got 100 in the final. Uh, we had 50s galore up until that point. So, yeah, we're really starting to hit our strides here. And um, the 50 over stuff shouldn't be a uh, a deterrent for that, hopefully. Hopefully, we can continue. It's looking pretty good so far. Myself and Pearson, the run rate, uh, tick over five. We'd probably, I mean, 33 overs gone. We can, we can maintain this, maybe push it up to around that six would be nice. And then if we're still out here with about, you know, 10 overs to go, we'll probably look to uh, look to free the arms a bit. You know, knowing us, we'll probably look to free the arms a little bit earlier than that because that's that's a lot of overs to that, dude. But, um, you know, we're, we're, we're just doing our job at the minute and uh, there's a little challenge complete. Score 500 runs, so ticking them off with, uh, with ease. There's a beautiful little shot there. This is a third short man, so it was, <laughs> it was close to a run out. We don't really want to run out Jimmy Pearson. He's going along nicely here. He's 28 off 30, 25, I should say. And uh, we're going at basically a runner ball as well. Projected score, 281. Um, as, geez, that was a, a very tightly pushed double. Direct hit, we were, we were gone for all money, but uh, the throw was a little bit high able to put the big ones in and, and get into the crease but uh yeah the run rate it's uh it has increased to 5.6 so can't can't be disappointed with that it's uh it's very nice stuff um it's mainly Pearson we're just we're just holding steady as we try to come down the track open it up a little bit as we're going to push for another two it's it's a tight one but uh a very poor throw that was weak as heck but uh Pearson up the other end 36 off 29 he's He's really relieving any sort of pressure we have with uh, scoring. I mean, uh, you know, going at 100 strike rate is, is good for this. Is that is a that's a good nut. Really uh, big leg cutter there. Hilton Cartwright, absolute nightmare to face. <laughs> I talk about it all the time, dude. But these medium pace bowlers are the absolute worst. Is um right here. What <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so. Yeah, I try to be really sneaky. Uh, it's not out. I <laughs> I was gonna be sneaky and just steal the single after he hit the stumps because obviously, you know, you then have to. I actually don't know the. I remember when I used to play. Um, I remember like a rep game I played. And the rule back then for at least juniors, I don't know if it was different for seniors, but uh, a junior rep game. Like, the bales had already been broken, and old mate, he had the ball in his hand, and he was he was looking for a run out, but he didn't know what to do, and everyone from the sideline was, like, yelling out. He had to take the stump out of the ground, as that is a 
Beautiful shot. Just smacked over mid off. But he had to take the stump out of the ground. Or maybe not take it out of the ground, but he had to hold the ball on the stump for like three seconds or something like that. That's that's what I remember from, <laughs> from that game. And I've never actually known what the actual rule is. When the bales have been broken, do you just have to hit the the stumps again with the ball. I, I honestly don't know what the rule is. I, I'm i pretty sure it's not you have to put the bales back on. <laughs> that is a, it's a flat six. Really, I, I didn't think I got much of it. Again, we tried to come down the track. He threw it out wide and we've just sort of thrown the arms at it. Beautiful shot. Let's move on to 49 here, but I, that is the one rule of cricket I still don't actually know. <laughs> I never actually like know the rule for that one because um, it never really... It never happens like it never seems to happen it's either like if the bales get broken like i think i have seen it like happen and all the oh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> oh can you believe it we've tried the scoop i love trying it but god it's so i thought i did it like perfectly but it's come off like the elbow or like yeah off the off the side and then onto the arm onto the stumps i mean it, the shot was on they had a fairly defensive field but fine leg was up and no one back behind square so it was the shot was on i just just a tough shot to play so unfortunately we get out there with uh with overs begging but um still a uh, a good score put on the board 324 very very solid indeed um but i think uh, I think from memory, like, I've seen it maybe once or twice, and if the bell's been broken, like, the fielder or the bowler, whoever it is who taps the ball, like, literally just knocks all the stumps out of the ground, which, I don't know, maybe that's all we, I, d I actually don't know what the letter by the, or what's the, what's the saying? Letter by the law rule of it is, but, I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's just what happened in this game. I sort of, the game sort of, like, glitched out, I guess, because the bells have been broken, and then we try to, pinch the single um thankfully he didn't give him out <laughs> i guess it's it's sure that he was in the crease when the bales had come off so it wasn't like a run out so yeah it was it was we the game sort of <laughs> the game glitched out over it and uh it definitely shows that we can't do that as uh it's gonna be our first wicket there we go it's uh it's been a steady start for the Warriors here. We've been brought on, just try to dot it up. And who was this? Philippi, I think it was. Trying to go big. I mean, it's a ring feel. We're just constricting the batters. He's not a, you know, not a bad shot to play. He just didn't really get any of it. Nice. No, it's uh, Inglis, actually. And uh, nicely taken at point. As uh, Darcy Short, very dangerous batter coming in at number three. I actually think he's not very well rated in this game, though. Um, for some reason, but uh, Philippi up the other end doing a good job as well. Um, but yeah, we sort of we've kept them pretty tidy. It's a good. It's it's sort of a it's a balanced start. One well now one for eighty two, as uh it's gonna be two for eighty two. <laughs> Darcy Shorty gets a gobful from Jimmy Pearson as well. <laughs> Another ridiculous keeper catch. You know, it's not a it's not a bloody. Career mode video. <laughs> Pretty typical Darcy. Actually, no, Darcy Short's not really a player to do that. He's fairly, uh, he does seem to, like, he, you can tell he's angry, but he's fairly, uh, sort of quiet about it all. Um, but yeah, it's not a career mode video if there's not a ridiculous wicket like that. But what an over. Two wickets off it, and, uh, we come back here. Bazisto is just, he's just struggling. We're just dotting him up, dotting him up. As uh, this one always ripped back through him. I thought it might have been a little tickle on the way through, but uh, no, it's missed. Uh, it's missed everything. But this is we're just he's just struggling. We're just putting the pressure on, just clamping him up. Two for fifteen into our ninth over, and uh, but this uh, he just can't get off the mark. Philippi, Philippi up the other end. He's sort of he's not, he's not going too well. I mean, I mean he's fifty seven, but he's he's got to start scoring some boundaries. Uh, as this one cut off the stumps a risky shot but again we just he just can't score we come back he's none for 21 we're two for 15 i think we bowled like all our dots like the last three and a bit overs have been 
to Bezisto, and it's been fantastic. You did get a couple of runs right there, which is annoying. Um, but there you go. He <laughs> just, oh boy, just an absolute shocker for Bezisto. He, he could not. Just one of those days down the middle where you just can't find the ball. You just can't hit the. You just can't hit it. It's not finding the bat at all. And uh, played the wrong line and just got cleaned up. As Mitch Marsh and Philippi, a couple of very dangerous batters at the crease. You know, they, they do have some depth in their batting, but uh, the pressure is well and truly on now. This is going to be our spell of bowling. Three for 17. What a bit of bowling. That's six wickets in two games for us. That's uh, that's a great turnaround. That's a fantastic performance. And again, an all-round performance. As, uh, Philippi did get his 100, but uh, we are going to win fairly comfortable there. He did get the 100. Cameron Green came out and hit a few... Mitch Marsh got a got a score, but uh, never really in doubt. We do pick our man of the match, which is very well deserved. I do say so. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Make sure to like and comment, and I'll see you in the next one.